Ghostrunners.life slash shop is where you can get some new merch on this beautiful Monday morning. Unless you're one of these people who gets laughed at by Jake and Timon. And therefore, you get it for free because you submitted this joke. So, hey, Jake. Yes? <laughs> what happened to the frog that parked illegally? He got towed. Yep. Hey, you want to hear a funny joke about potassium? Nah. Wait, that's the wrong. <laughs> You're laughing at yourself. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. Okay. What's nah? Iron? Uh, no, that's sodium. Sodium. Sodium's nah. I'm randomly pretty good at that. Huh. Better than I should. S in. What's S in? Sandwich. <laughs> mm, I don't or, know. A G? A uh, gold? No. no. Close. Is it F E gold? Nope. A U is gold. A U, come back with that gold. Oh, nice. A U, come into my restaurant. That's how you remember how to spell restaurant. Oh. I don't know what S N is. Ten. What? Right? Ten? Oh, I thought you were counting down. Ten. Ten. Yeah, I was like, oh, what are we doing <laughs> now? <is> nine. <laughs> Helium. Neon's <laughs> eight. I have no idea. All right. Hey, what do you get? Hey, hey. Guys, hey, let's be serious. What do you get when you cross a barbed wire fence with a cow? What? Utter destruction. Nah. I, okay. do, li I do like that one. I mean, like likes them? it. You got to remember this one. You got to remember for... You got to remember... Just, here we go. What do you call iron blowing in the wind? What? F.E. Breeze. Febreze. Iron's F.E. Two of the four jokes have been about the, the the elements. Oh, that's what this whole theme is. Oh, sorry. No, I don't know. <laughs> what part of God's creation always lets you down? I know. Gravity. Gravity, yeah. It's working against me. Is that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> that might that just a, be true. <laughs> is that a hey. punchline? Hey, hey. Hey, okay. Hey. Seriously, seriously, free merch is on the line. Bert and Ernie were hanging out at Sesame Street, and Bert says, Ernie, do you want some ice cream? He responds, sure, Bert. Oh. Why is sure, Bert. Oh, yeah. Okay. N no periodic element there, so... Eh. Hey! Okay, sorry. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? I love this one. Surprise! Hey! Dumb. Do you like that one, Tymon? No, I like the... Wait, did you say surprise? Yeah. Huh. Hey. Well, I know, I know the one where it's like, supplies. Oh. Now that's funny. Hey, Tymon gets free Tymon, merch. Free merch. <laughs> yeah. Congrats! Yeah, Tymon! <laughs> uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat, too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, because it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. Every Monday morning, we're taking grand Ghost Runners <laughs> yeah, supplies oh, is shucks. great. So that person just wrote down surprise. So maybe it was like an <laughs> anti joke. I, yeah, off I think of it's like, like everyone you're knows just that supposed joke. to know that one. Oh, uh, I see. Which, like, why why did six eat seven? Supplies. Because he was hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> supplies. Oh man. It's another Monday. It is. Sorry, yes. Yeah, another Monday. Janitors are coming out of closets. Yep. Timon's playing pedo every Thursday. <laughs> and you guys listen to our podcast. We're happy you're here. Pedo. What? I, I loved that. I loved that we talked about that. That was great. I want to hear more about your pedo sometime. Okay. That sounded weird. No. I want, I want to come watch you pedo. I want to see your pedo. You said there was a pretty good amount of teenagers there? Like how many? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shucks. I Here went we to go. my first Royals game in years. First Royals game since the pitch clock was invented. And? Friday night. Uh, we were storm watching a little bit. Storm was rolling in. Yeah. It was muggy. Mug. It was a hot day. Yeah. Really hot day. Like they all are. But it's summertime, baby. Wouldn't trade it. And yeah, went with a uh, pretty good crew, uh, like 12 of us total. I felt like such a, you know, last episode you talked about, like, am I getting older because I am, might buy four pairs of New Balances. Mm -hmm. I paid for our group tickets by calling them. I oh. called the group <laughs> ticket sales. Uh, 
place. It was great. Life hack, no fees. Yeah. He's like, it's twenty dollars a ticket times twelve. Yeah. Two hundred and forty or whatever. That works. Yeah. Four. Four forty. Maybe. I'm not I'm not gonna worry about it. Um four eighty. Fine. No, it doesn't matter. I fine, I'll check. It was uh so yeah, no fees. <laughs> 22 times 12? Am I bad? <laughs> um, and yeah, because I went, I was like, well, 12 people, I want two rows. You can't really do that on like StubHub and stuff. Dude, it is nice. Yeah, call them. It is yeah, great. It was great. I did that with youth ministry stuff back in the day. And it, yeah, they were like really good about helping you out. Like, yeah, putting you all in one section, but not just like 30 people on a row. Yeah, because that's no fun. But yeah, oh. all like row after row is, is nice. And mm-hmm. yeah, I called him and he's like, all right, I got a n- name under this. Uh, Peter. And I was like, oh, oh that's funny. I guess, uh, no, that was like 10 years ago. But that's no. our sharpshooter. My name is Jake now. Went through a bit of a rough patch. <laughs> oh, like Jake from State Farm. Good All one, right. buddy. Okay, yeah. supplies. <laughs> uh, but the Royals game was fun. We went, uh, yeah, Christine, who's an old friend who moved to Kansas City, the one that Isaac carried out of the ocean. Yep. Um, some of her friends, one of Rachel's friends, Clyde and his fiance were there. Uh, a couple of friends. So we got, Rachel and I got there late. Shocker. When we had got there in the second inning, Glide had already eaten a bowl of Dippin' Dots. Okay. He had a helmet full of nachos. And by the third inning, he had eaten his second bowl of Dippin' Dots. Glide like, goes for it. I was it. like, Glide, you're on pace for like four and a half Dippin' Dot bowls tonight. He's like, go for the perfect game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was just fun to just pig out a bit at the ballpark. Got some chicken tenders, got a frozen lemonade. Just frozen ballpark lemonade. type yeah. stuff, dude. I introduced the kids to frozen lemonade like eighth inning of last time. And they... It was like, why have you been hiding this for me for so long? It was awesome. Another old man thing. Yeah, I called the ticket off. I like 12 tickets, please. Yeah. And then when I'm buying the frozen limit, I'm passing cash. They have to pass it back to me. They say, oh, we don't accept cash. Oh, I'm like, really? wow, a stadium vendor. They don't accept it anymore? I feel like you just did a complete 180. Right. Well, a couple years ago, it had to be cash. Dude, I wonder if their tips have gone down a lot because of that. They have to, because now they have to verbally say, how much do you want to tip? Right. That sucks. Oh, he asked you? He asked Glide. To me, he, I think, passed it. Yeah, passed that's what I would imagine thing. he would just... It's going to ask you a few questions. It's like, mm. I know the questions, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And uh, so that was fun. Um, Friday night fireworks is a good time. Started raining on us during the fireworks. Didn't really start pouring. Uh, started to get a little more intense as we left. And so Rachel and I knocked off. I think we'd already ran our mile, but we ran to our car, just passed it, people. <laughs> it was fun. It's like, good for us. We're, we're in shape. But um, so... <laughs> Good for us, we're in shape. The fire every Friday night, the Royals play fireworks, and you know the whole night. Lauren is about to move to a fiance, so she's asked me different questions throughout the night. Like, all right, what do you know about this? Or like, all right, I've, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. What do you know about the winter time? Mm-hmm. Like, how do I prepare for winter? And yeah. you know, we're telling different things. I'm like, you're gonna want an ice scraper. You just have it in the back of your car. Winter you know? coat. Yes, I was like telling her about like snow gear. Yeah, and Catherine um, didn't know that was a thing. Oh, okay. It's like you have to, you have first a, Harambe now. Winter you mean coats? like just like a heavy jacket, like a no, no. There's a you have a coat. Get it from a, a goose with <laughs> down feathers. Yeah, it's gonna be expensive. Okay, ice scraper. And yeah, so it, just the whole night we were asked, we were doing different things. It was kind of you know answering questions for. Her. And other times I just joke around and like explain really obvious things that are like not Kansas City specific. So frozen lemonade, those are. Um, I mean, it's just, it's basically like a lemonade, but it's just, it's a little colder. <laughs> right. It hovers around 32, 33 degrees. Um, and so when the fireworks show started, um, it started with uh, Despacito, the song. Oh, okay. And so I kind of lean over to Glide and Lauren. I say, oh, by the way, the fireworks, it's always Hispanic themed. Yeah. That's just how we do fireworks here. So yep. I yep. hope that's okay. <laughs> Despacito gets over and then it's another like just <laughs> reggaeton song I've never heard of. Just boom, boom, boom. And so then I'm like, uh, and then it's like a remix halfway through the song. It's another mashup. And you move on, and it's another Spanish song. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's actually a Hispanic night. I mean, Um, half the players on the team don't speak English. Yeah, that was really funny. I was like, I can't believe it was actually nothing else about the night was Hispanic night. At least, I mean, we were there for three hours. They never mentioned it, but just the fireworks show. When I was like joking, like, and just FYI, it's gonna be pretty Spanish tonight. And it was. They didn't speak English. Oh, it was consistent. The whole. It wasn't like they had Sweet Child of Mine at some point. Or they anything. never did. It was always. Uh, one huh. time I thought, is this a Springsteen song? And they started speaking Spanish. Like, I don't know what <laughs> genre this is. Like a classic American Spanish rock. Huh. Um, so yeah, just like 15, 20 minutes of just like Spanish music right after I'd like <laughs> That's amazing. dumbly predicted it. Um, 
one last thing with Glide and Lauren there, you know, I'm asking, how's your time in Kansas City been? Where have you been? And like Glide took me to Messenger Coffee. I'm like, oh yeah, great spot. Um, yeah, they, didn't like, have, they didn't have nacho helmets there though. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said, so if you don't know, Glide is a um, probably like 6'2", broad shoulders, very athletic, well-dressed white man. Maybe a, uh, maybe a little beard certain times. Glide's fiance, very just like LA cool black girl. I like I like the swi- the swivels while you're saying that's it. how the, yeah so someone outside of Messenger Coffee starts like hooping and holler at them going no way Travis is back with his ex <laughs> like legitimately was like I can't believe this how is this not bigger news <laughs> Travis Kelsey's like ex girlfriend before Taylor Swift was just like I don't know I don't know if she was famous beforehand maybe she was but just like a black girl Mm -hmm. (laughs) just thought this Travis Kelsey just openly cheating on Taylor Swift. And he was the one who like cracked the case. No way. Messenger coffee is how you're announcing it. This is amazing. You changed your face completely. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, this is huge. That's crazy. That's amazing. I was like, yeah, uh, that's Kansas city. Yeah. You can be, you can be your own celebrity. You can be confused for one pretty easily. Yeah, so there, we don't see many of them, so we always assume like any guy that's somewhat strong looking, probably an <laughs> athlete, probably Kareem Rush or you know Travis Kelsey. Kareem, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I told you. <laughs> oh, uh, that's great. One last thing. Sorry, I just remembered this too. Um, we were we somehow got talking. I, I was just really honed in on some of the umpires' movements. And it was really funny. So then I just became an umpire and Rachel was like getting a pretty good kick out of it. But I was also like, please stop. <laughs> like, just like anything I do, like she was just like, it's such an ick to become an umpire. She's like, really? it's the worst thing you could do just to be like out of there. Just like really like distinct. Oh, movements. I like it. And like, um, what else were I joking around with? Oh, batting coaches. It's like how serious batting coaches are. Hey, <laughs> get it right here, kid. And doing this and Rachel can't stand it. And I love doing it now. Just the, this kind of clap, high school baseball clap. Hey, we're thinking we, um, you want to run to like, uh, Main Street Roaster South and then maybe go play pickleball? What do you say here? Hey, huh? come on, huh. you're it. Let's go. <laughs> just, just a quick- That's a great third base coach. <laughs> hey, come on. Like, it's like, it's like kind of like. <laughs> it's directed towards It's you. not super hard. It's like, come on, let's go. Hey, two outs. Need you on base here. Come on, here we go. It's, and it's a vertical. It's like they're yeah. showing like rock, paper, paper. Right. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Hey. Hey, on me, on me, guys. On me. All right, here we go. <laughs> so ever since baseball, I've just been doing baseball movements around the house, just throwing a strike in there every now and then, <laughs> calling her safe, calling her out. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, I think we've talked about this before, just, yeah, the different kind of umps there are, because some of them are delayed, where they'll say it before they show it, you know? Yeah, some are very casual ball. Sometimes they don't say anything. I, I would be the dramatic ref. I would love that. Like same with like block versus charge, and like I would, I Go would the other scoot, way. I would scoot down the the court like before I give the block or the charge, <laughs> like getting ready, like make sure no everyone can see me and everything. Some of those umpires really take like a you know a guy's trying to steal second, and those umpires are down there. Good for them taking their job seriously, and they are squatting down so low, yeah. like trying to see exactly when it happens, <laughs> and then during the action, and then giving right. the biggest like fist that he's out of there. What about like uh, wrestling umps? wrestling referees oh yeah down there they're like they're like down like they're wrestling lower with them yeah lower than the players oh it's amazing yeah um so yeah i'm just i've kind of in my just umpire kind of phase right now <laughs> just around the house just doing a bunch of umpire and third base coach stuff say hey ball <laughs> just a just a nice ball 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 uh, fun game though we saw like five home runs really yeah royals hit four or five i think that's fun it was a good time um what did you think of the pitch clock it was not, it made, it made me anxious sometimes for the pitcher. I'm like, this batter is still I like agree. digging in the box and at 10, nine. It's like, does he know what pitch he's even throwing? Is he ready to go? I hope he is. Batter's not even ready yet. Well, you can throw it whenever, right? Once the batter gets in the box. Can you? Yeah, I think so. Don't even so. know. Okay. I don't think the, ah, uh, somebody will know. Lisa Gluck, let us know. She's yep. a big baseball gal. Joe Maurer. Um, but there's something about like, you can't step out of the box, I think. Oh, I have seen some clips of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't fully understand the rules anymore. Or maybe you can step out once or something like that. But like, because I saw, uh, Max Scherzer kind of was like trying to like break the idea basically like like doing a really long like f- you know like how the batter like wants to get the right timing or whatever so waiting a really long time like getting set and waiting for like 20 seconds uh-huh. and so the batter like is uncomfortable gets his timing wrong totally so he calls timeout 
gets out of the box, and then Scherzer's ready, and this guy, right when he steps into the box again, zoom, oh. like, like can't even like get set get before set. Scherzer's ready to pitch it. Kind huh. of a yeah, cat and mouse a kind of thing. gamesmanship. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's crazy. My first job, I used to be so into baseball. I was a baseball statistician for three years. And then now I go to the baseball game and on the box score, on the big jumbo Tron, they're saying MVR. I'm like, holy cow. This is they're at, treating this like a major statistic. And I don't even know what it stands for. Yeah. Uh let me it's like runs, hits, airs, MVR. Uh, yeah. I asked somebody last time I was there, what's MVR? I forget what it is, but it was like time oh, that makes sense. Time looks like he Time. Nope. Yeah, you were you, you were also a statistician play? for three years <laughs> for the T Bones. I think it's something with runner, runner it's, but it's not left on base. I don't oh, you know. didn't you didn't figure it out. I have no clue. Oh, it's something like that though. Like most valuable. Dang. MVR is definitely what it was. Yeah. It is kind of like a like something runs. MVR baseball. Oh, it's not. It's not. Dumb. This is why I don't know. Mound visits remaining. Oh. It's like seeing like how many timeouts they have left. No, there was another. Th- yeah, no, I, no. I agree. <laughs> it's not that. Uh, there was one other stat though that I hadn't heard of on there. Anyway, mound visits remaining, huh? No, no, that's not it. No, it's not that. Keep looking. Anyway, that was my baseball experience. It was really fun. I need to go back. The Royals are great. They're they're playing some ball. Salvi still there. Oh yeah, and Yamped one hit one like four forty seven feet. <laughs> four forty seven feet. <laughs> four forty seven feet. Uh, yeah, he's the man. Yeah. I just feel like we would be friends. Yeah. You know? I'd show him the viral video I made him back in the day. He would probably <laughs> like it. Very excited. i very excited. Oh, man. Yeah. I'd like to go. To, uh, let's go to a baseball game before the summer's over. Baseball? Go with Bo. Baseball. He would love it. Um, Yeah. Your dad would love it. Everybody would love it. Look, sure. get your dad up here. Sure. He'd say yes. He came up for a acai delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Not that hard. That was great. Uh, speaking of baseball, when we shot um, some Friday pickleball content recently, we were at Two Trails Park in Olathe. Yes, familiar. Thank you. Got a little baseball diamond there, and they were. It looked like it was maybe just like high school baseball. And then we got closer. We're like, this is like adult, not so much softball, but adult baseball. Oh. They were in pants, uniforms, base coach. Hey, hey come, hey, come on. on, only got one MVR, whatever that means. Uh huh. And Scott and I were getting so excited. We're like, why don't we do adult? Baseball, way harder to get elbowed. That's yeah. a plus. I'm watching these pitchers. They're throwing it, I mean, like 75. It wasn't like these guys take it serious and they're bringing the heat. Pretty high. Pretty high. Oh, we can hit 75. I know, oh, I know we can hit it, but. No, it's fine. It it, it looked slow. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, how fun would that be? We'd have Coach John come up and coach us again. <laughs> um, come on, Coach. What coach! are we doing here, Coach? <laughs> He'd make Scott bunt every time again. <laughs> It's got some listens to him. All right, I have to bond. Okay, yeah, he said so. It's for the team. But yeah, there are some teams taking it super serious. I mean, they've all got uniforms. They're wearing pants, metal cleats. They've got their last name on the back of the jersey. Yeah. Um, And I was like, that would be, I'm guessing. Yeah, they did. (laughs) Got it. That would be fun. I don't know who would catch. That's a position that wouldn't be real fun. Sam Dwyer. We'll get him. We'll get him there. (laughs) Joe McBride. Uh But we have Harrison Pitch. Yeah. Who would Work him like a dog. Gunner would be a great catcher. Gunner would be a great catcher. Because Gunner has no, like, Gunner's so good at, like, no no regard for his body. Yeah, I think like wrestlers, that's, they're kind of spend time down there anyway. Mm-hmm. Gunner did it without a glove. He'd say, just give me, a, <laughs> give me two chest protectors. So yeah. I'll, I'll take everything it's in the fine. chest. <laughs> hockey, what's it? Hockey tryouts are in three months. Three or six, four more days to hockey practice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, adult baseball. Maybe yeah. maybe next summer, fall ball, maybe? I think that'd be so fun. Uh, our friend... Chicken for some drone, Drew Severns used to, I don't know if he still does, but he used to play in a men's baseball league. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any of the gear. We'd have to like buy just a one team bat. I don't know what's, what's popping these days. Easton's, any stealths out there? Just Clifton Alexander, give us one of your old ones or something. He's got his sons playing. Um, Yeah, you're right. The catcher is the issue. Cause I'm like, I'd much rather play adult baseball than softball. I think so too. It's so much more like the fielding is so much more fun in baseball. Yeah. You know? softball i don't know you're so tight together and it just doesn't feel the same but then again like if your catcher stinks people just steal the whole time <laughs> i mean it'd be like sixth grade all over again <laughs> he's gone don't even throw it don't even throw don't it yeah, hold, hold it hold it <laughs> Petey. hold it <laughs> <laughs> it would bring back uh, so many memories even just like like do we still like do we do balls in coming down like an adult oh, baseball dude coming we gotta, down gotta get a so, rep in i loved coming down yeah Hey, coming out, you know, in middle school, you're just screaming. And as you get older, you try to do it more and more subtle. 
more and more subtle. I'm like, all right, don't be a dweeb. Don't scream balls in coming down. <laughs> just like just to have everyone on the same page. But it'd be fun. Uh, got a nice, just completely dirt infield. So yeah, the ground ball is going to get on you hot. You yep. have some bad hops. That's all Olathe for you. It, yeah, I think it'd be fun. I think we'd find nine guys. We should just go. We should Sandlot style and just go like. Do it ourselves. Just even just play, like just hit the ball around. Yeah. We get 10 guys. One guy is the batter and whoever else just rotates around the field. Oh, that's fun. That sounds awesome. It sounds so much. Even if it's just let's take infield practice. Let's take, yeah, take five balls. Infield. That'd be so fun. Yeah, baseball's great. My dad, I think I'm gonna do it. I haven't officially like made the plans yet, but my dad is going through Iowa, going to the field of dreams in mid-July and wants me to come and play catch with him on the field. Oh, that's fun. In the outfield. He's like, he's like, it's a dream of mine to play catch with my son. And my mom's like, I, I could play catch with you. He's like, nope, it's got to be Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, No, <laughs> so it's not I might, that. I might drive like 10 hours, you know, round trip to go to this thing. That'll be fun. I think it'd be awesome. Stop and see uh, Michaela and the uh, Madison County Bridges. Yes. And then the, who knows what the else? Pharmacy. <laughs> John Wayne's birthplace. Yeah. Um. But. How you sleeping, Brad? Could be better. Really? What would make it better? Well, I've been sleeping on my um, downstairs bed because I got in trouble from Kath. <laughs> <laughs> she said, get out of here. You don't deserve the cozier sheets. Oh, well, I'm glad I brought it up. I said, listen. <laughs> What'd you say? Take my marriage, but save my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, most people think that was you like, like that safe. Uh huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're like, well, who was that? Who had that old? One of those founding fathers. It's actually Brad Ellis who first coined it. Give it me wasn't... cozy sheets or give me death. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, cozy Earth is amazing. Their bed sheets are obviously kind of. I feel like they're bread and butter because it is summer. Their sheets will like cool you and regulate to your body temperature. They're viscose from bamboo. They are like top notch. Let them notch. Let them notch. Let them notch. <laughs> Uh, but anything they make is very high quality and it comes with a 10 year warranty. It's just, it's such an easy company, uh, to just like support and buy stuff from cause all their stuff's awesome. So check out cozy and check out their cozy socks or their hand towels or their loungewear or their joggers or yeah. Or their bed sheets, pillowcases, whatever. It is seriously top, top notch, top notch. from top to bottom. Get on their website and let yourself watch. Yep. I think unsung hero is the, uh, pillowcase. Yeah. As great as the sheets are, you still need a good pillow, and that pillowcase really takes it to the next level. So, yeah, check them out. You're 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 not gonna regret it. You're gonna love it. Yep. And you get thirty percent off yep. uh, with our link. So make sure you lose use our link. Uh, don't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> use it. Don't lose <laughs> it. Write it on a post it. Put it somewhere <laughs> safe. <laughs> and uh, find that link in our description show notes. Yeah. Yada yada. Cozyearth.com slash ghostrunners, or you can use GRKC. I think so. Thirty uh, percent. Hey, come on. Come on Go now. get it. Come on. Get it right here. Hey, uh, hey, choke up here. Hey, I'm not trying to brag here. I'm not trying to, um, you know, expose all my finances real quick, but I am now officially a face or Amazon influencer. Tell us. Um, I don't. Okay. Just, hey. I just want to be completely transparent here. I'm not trying to like brag, but I have been making these video reviews for Amazon. <laughs> I, I don't know. This is kind of uncomfortable. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. Do you ready? want me to say my credit score first? Would it make you feel better? No. Okay. Right here. Ready? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. This feels this feels so. Have you ever said a number this slimy. big out loud before? Okay. One dollar and thirty two cents, guys. And that's been what only a couple <laughs> weeks. It's like seventy five videos I've put on. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That's almost double the amount of videos yep. in since. Positive ROI. If you look since to videos, it is oh, above one. I can't even. I, I mean, I'm almost up to a McDonald's large drink with this bad boy. You know, in with fr <laughs> Friday Pickleball with uh, uh, meta ads, we like to look at ROAS a lot. Return yep. on ad spend. Yeah. Return on videos made. Rovum. Rovum. Just over one cent. Mm -hmm. About almost two cents, actually. Yeah, it's, it's bordering on two. That's pretty good Rovum. Which reminds me of MVR, which also stands for most videos remaining. Most videos remaining. So, and you have unlimited. Yeah, I, I can keep doing this and it's it's just gonna keep going right to the bank. You know, it's passive income at this point. You you're not gonna reinvest it back in the business? Uh, maybe I should. Yeah. Get new, a better new, camera, yeah. buy some more stuff on Amazon. Yeah, buy more products with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Say. Yeah. I don't know. That would make I, the most sense. Do you have anything in your cart right now that you could get with the dollar thirty two? Anything you got your eye on? Yeah. Um, 
yeah. binder clips? I do. I have a replacement part for my uh, fingernail clippers. It's <laughs> in there for 78 cents. <laughs> Uh, which we'll we'll put a little bit of a dent in there, but I mean, <laughs> the ROI on that thing for my fingers is going to be nuts. Yeah, and you still have some cushion for like emergencies. You still have about fifty cents in there. So. Yeah, I could get I yep, I could get a thimble. Yeah, um, part a of a button. button. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've maybe seen that on there. maybe as maybe a zipper. You could get the end of a zip tie, the the locking mechanism of a zip tie, which is what's a zip tie without the locking mechanisms? Yep, it's most of it, right? Yeah, so. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm not, I, I know it's uncomfortable to like talk and brag about your successes, but it's one of those things where it's just like, believe in yourself, believe anyone, in your dreams. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. Yeah. Right. Like, well, you don't want to like keep it to yourself. I don't, you I don't want to, I don't want to opportunity for <laughs> right. Share the wealth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So a rising tide raises all Amazon reviewers, raises all affiliate links. So ships. it's amazon.com slash shop slash customer reasons. So. That is pretty neat. Yep. Five years now, people are going to be saying, how did Brad get that pink Mercedes? And I'll say, he tried to tell you guys. He tried to tell you, you know, while Timon was up pedoing with his brothers, yep. Brad was out making Amazon review videos. You can pedo or you can video. <laughs> I chose the second. <laughs> right, guys? So That yeah. is pretty neat. It reminds me, not to go back-to-back finance talk, but occasionally I will get a little check from Facebook Mm -hmm. because towards the the last three episodes of Alan We Bought a Limo on Facebook Watch were monetized. Okay. And so it comes out to about once every two months, I get exactly one penny. (laughs) (laughs) You're kidding. Sorry to make a spit take there. One penny. They pay me one cent, um, and I don't know where it goes. Shocker. Can't yeah, get money yeah. out of Facebook. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll get like a, it looks like an invoice or something. And it says, I'll be bought a limo. One penny. One cinny. One, one penny. One centi. Penny one one penny. And then we bought a limo last episode. One penny. One penny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can like push every ghosty to watch that last episode and see if we can get that bad boy up to like five cents. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Just see, see the check roll in the end of August. You should somehow demand paper checks for that. And then it would cost them more to give them to like send it to you. It's like eating celery. It's more calories burned. Exactly. It's the same exact thing. Ooh, you do a video review on celery. Oh, I would love to. Genius. I'm looking around right now. There's so many things in here I could video review. Ghosties, let us know. I would like to hear from other people like things you've done and made a similar amount of money. Like a similar return on something. If you're if you're comfortable bragging about that. That's true. Like we that. might say your name on the podcast. So if that's yeah. not okay with you, just say you'd like to be known anonymously. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. It'll be awesome. Thanks. Yeah, I have 103 clicks. Jeez. 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 <laughs> Pump me up. So. So. So that's, that's been my Amazon video review review. Not bad. Thanks. Time and you've been shooting a lot of Friday stuff. How's yeah. it been? How's it going? It's Thanks good. for flexing. You had to, first of all, I felt bad because I know Sundays you're trying to like, you know, spend a lot of family time together. And I was like, hey, the only time Scott can record is Sunday. He's Mormon, so that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. Then <laughs> you made it happen. And they were like, hey, we're doing this new series. The only time TJ and Ellie could do it is Tuesday. And then you canceled your voice lesson. Rescheduled. Hey, sorry, sorry. Rescheduled. Rescheduled. Um, but yeah. Uh, how's it been? How was the heat yesterday? Dude, it was It was like toward the end there. I was like, I heat has, had never really affected me that much. I was like, <laughs> I was like. Sorry if I was super low energy because I was like that. It was brutal. And I wasn't even doing anything. I was just standing there. I think, honestly, that might have been, I don't know if it made it worse, but just like sitting there, just like letting the sun cook you. You're not even like, <laughs> you're just not even, I don't know. It was, it was rough. Because what do but, you, what did you had to eat before then? Uh, so the shoot was at like 3 p.m. or so to yeah. 5.30. Um, and I had had two Pop-Tarts for the day. Okay. What flavor? Uh, cinnamon. What else? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, good answer. Yeah, <laughs> but also you should eat more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Going into it, it was wild, degree. man. It was it was a hundred degrees outside, and all I'd had was two pop tarts, and I did not feel great. Jake <laughs> sprung this video shoot on me five days in advance at three p.m. <laughs> oh, I, I, would, I had time to eat breakfast, and that was it. Barely got back from torpedo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exerted three thousand calories worth of pedo. And then, <laughs> And then, so what'd you do after pickleball? Um, I went to I went to Chick Fil A. Yeah, I should just find my text I sent. <laughs> I was just um, what did I say? I 
drove straight to Chick Fil A and just basked in a chicken sandwich combo and an ice cold Dr Pepper. Yeah, ice cold baby. Ice, ice cold Dr, Dr. Dr. Pepper. It was great. Dr Pepper hip. No cash. Cards only. Um, yeah, it was fun. I we did like uh, we're trying to do this new thing. The PPA is coming to Kansas City, kind of mid early August, and so we we're like, what if we did like um. A little different type of material, like a instructional series, but there's like a specific goal in mind. So it's like, hey, Isaac and I, we are, we've been playing pickleball for a while, pretty athletic guys, but we didn't play tennis and we've never practiced essentially. You know, we've never like tried really to get better other than playing. Yeah, you never do drills. But here's our goal. Our goal is to win 4.0 gold at the PPA tournament. Over the next four weeks, we're going to do four lessons with Scott and TJ, who's another like 5 0 player oh, yeah. in Kansas City, and like learn new things. Uh, cool. every week and so yeah kind of a new idea and fun new thing and so it's like let's hurry and do this before the cruise and so yeah time made it happen and it was hot but it was the only time it would have worked and so we'll see people's response should be fun though so what did what was like what were you working on what'd you learn uh i think the first video you know i'm trying to come up with the title thumbnail before we do any of this that way we know what we're working with three three pickleball tips to instantly boost your rating oh well, that's good you think so yeah i mean i'd, I'd watch that I mean, honestly, if I didn't care about you, I'd probably watch that before I'd watch some of your other videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hopefully so. And it's like uh, serving, returning, and the fourth shot. A lot of people talk about the third shot drop. Scott focused on the fourth shot and how to... Which is... What's the strategy on that? <sighs> oh, I don't know what it was exactly. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't very good. I think... Teacher. I actually I remember it now. It was like, you know, so you would be the serving team. Mm -hmm. So you've served. They've hit it back to you. You've hit... No. You're the return of serve team. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember. We did all of them in one day. Yeah. yeah and that yeah. was the very first thing we did. So okay. I don't remember exactly. Um, and then lesson two is all about TJ grew up playing tennis. And I know Isaac and I are always like, we see people, you can just tell they play tennis. They're so smooth and they have such good technique. And so I want to do a video of like how to play pickleball like a tennis player. Mm. Cause I, I know I would have clicked on that four years ago. Like, yeah, how are they're doing different things than me? Totally. And it was fun to get taught that for the first time, like be taught pickleball mechanics. Like, yeah. Oh, you know, he was like, swipe the outer of the ball. If the front of the ball is like a face, don't hit the nose. He said, hit like the outer, like chin or the cheek of the ball. I was like, wow, I, no one's ever taught me anything like that before. He taught me techniques, like going from like low to high your paddle. He taught me like kind of re gripping it. Like even before you like are about to hit a big forehand ground stroke, I go ahead and like close down the paddle beforehand. And mm. a lot of just like stuff that was like immediately so helpful. Yeah. I was like, really? this is awesome. And I feel like I'm getting value. So I would think totally. the viewers would be getting value too. Um, anyway, so we just did a bunch of that and got really sweaty and had a bunch of fun. So that we'll feels see. like something that you can, like somebody would find that video without intentionally already being following. Friday Pickleball. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think a lot of those views are going to come from search. Yeah. Which they say you don't want to build an audience completely relied on search because it's not reliable. Well, you, hopefully they'll, yeah, they'll subscribe from there though, right? Yes. That's the goal is, um, yeah, they come in and they like our personalities and they yeah. become a member of the community a little bit. So yeah. Cause surely you're not just like, yeah, being very bland. Like surely you're putting jokes. We're being goofy a right. little bit. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. That was a fun little thing. I'm excited. What are the three techniques for best types of meat? <laughs> three, one country that'll instantly boost your protein intake from wh where it came from. Yeah. America. Yeah. One. You got it. I believe in you. Nine letters. Good job. Nah. <laughs> Dang it. It's more than nine, right? It's more than nine. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, good ranchers. Hey, we got a new uh, new offer for you. Okay. Did you what miss out it? on the Wagyu beef? Wagyu beef? Too bad. So sad. Not really, though. Mm -hmm. We got a new offer, and it's only for this week. And it's Prime Week. Prime Week. Hey, Prime it. Hey. You about to weed eat? Better Prime it first. You, you, about to, you about to mess with that generator? Make sure you Prime it first. Hey, you about to buy meat that came from, I don't know, China? Oh, throw it out. Oh, we can't prime that. Throw out your money. We, your cash is no good here. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you getting a frozen lemonade from overseas? Yeah. I don't want your cash. So, yeah, it's it's prime week of Good Ranchers. And uh, we, they've upped the 
the money off that you're getting for this week alone. So if you use our promo code GRKC, you're going to get free shipping like always, but you're also going to get $150 off your first order when you subscribe at GoodRanchers.com. Mm -hmm. This week only. You have it till July 21st. Good Ranchers. They're proudly 100% American through and through. They want people to have the peace of mind being transparent with their products, uh, but they also want them to be proud of the company and mission that they support. So anytime that someone purchases a box from Good Ranchers, they're donating a portion of the proceeds to paralyzed veterans of America. They're supporting our nation's heroes, the farmers, the, the trifecta, farmers, ranchers, veterans, who fight for our freedom and work Bingo. tirelessly to put food on our plates. So, Bingo. $150 off with GRKC. Free express shipping to GoodRanchers.com. Prime deals on American meat. Go take advantage, baby. That's right. GoodRanchers.com. GRKC. All right. Hmm. All right. That's, All right. All right. that's enough of that. Uh, I was at Lifetime the other day, and they have basketball courts there. So I decided I'm going to go shoot a few hoops. Um, kind of in my workout that way. And there was another guy. There was two other guys shooting hoops. So one on each basket. You kind of just choose. Like I guess I just have to kind of bother this guy with shooting on the same hoop as him. But yeah, that's all he, right. didn't, he didn't have a great shot. So I was like, maybe he'll just be impressed by me. Like this guy, no, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but a few times I missed, and it would go over to this guy's area of the court where he was shooting or whatever. He and he grabbed the ball, and it was almost like there was a hidden camera in the room or something. <laughs> why, why was he? Thinking? I don't know. What this guy's deal was, but he threw me back the ball so poorly four different times. Oh, I see. It's like you got to be doing this on purpose. Dude. It was yeah. The, the first time, like so, the first like, time he got the ball, he has his ball in his other hand, so whatever. Maybe it's a little harder to throw or whatever. I don't know. Been a bit out. Throw it across. Threw it across the court to me, and just skied it fourteen feet over my head. <laughs> <laughs> like just like like just shot put it. Just just way too far. Twice just, as far. I don't know if he was like, oh, man, he's kind of a little bit on the other side of the court. I need to throw it pretty hard. But, I mean, yeah, it was like, it was like, hey, try to throw it as hard as you can at this guy. <laughs> Who cares where it goes? Just in that direction. Don't leave it fine. short. And he was like, oh, sorry, man, sorry. Uh, so he then, knew it was a bad throw. Yeah. And then, yeah, did that again, basically, more or less, <laughs> like a little bit like over to the side. And then one time, this one was like where it kind of turned to be like, is this guy doing this on purpose? He caught the ball, like I shot it. I shot it, missed a little short, so the ball the ball hit the rim and kind of bounced towards him. So I was basically directly behind him. He gets the ball and instead of like just turning around and passing it to me, he threw it over his back <laughs> and like <laughs> another ten feet above my head. Like he was in a canoe that was taking in water. He's like, gotta get this yep. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and. Once again, apologized. And I was like, oh, sorry. I thought you were somewhere Dang else. Dang it, dude. I keep doing this. <laughs> I'm so usually so accurate with my behind the head passes. No look passes to a guy I've never met before. Yeah. And then the, the last time, I mean, it wasn't as extreme, but it was still like enough to be like. If you've messed up three times, you better make sure that next pass is a chest pass right in the hands. Or just, just recognize that you're making, you're doing more of a disservice by trying to throw me the ball. <laughs> and now I have to go shag it the other way. Just go Sandlot style. Just walk it to you. <laughs> Here's your ball. It was it was like one of those things where it's like, is anyone else seeing this? Like I was looking at the guy on the other side of the court, like, are you recognizing what's happening? Yeah, here? it was like I desperately want someone else to see this. Yeah, this it was is one of those times. Amazing. I don't know. It's just one of those weird. I was like, what? Who? Who is this guy? Who the guy here? Uh, this isn't quite the exact same thing, but once again, I'm, you know, in my car by myself, and I am going from. So this is from our Sunday pickleball shoot where we that runs a little late but i said i have basketball at 6 p.m all the way at hy arena so i'm like well i need some sustenance i'm not gonna go the timing route you know yeah i've got pop tarts <laughs> in my glove box but i need something more than that yeah. and i'm looking at what's around me and it's like sonic dairy queen taco bell and jack in the box are like the ones kind of all like yeah. close like none of those seem real quick or real great but i can get chicken tenders from about any of them uh -huh. I choose Jack in the box for some reason. Like I think they're going to be the emptiest. I bet I can get there and be the only person there. I go in the drive through Jack in the box. Who knows when the last time I've done this? Jack in the box. I've where on 119th? Yes, I believe okay. so. Yeah. Okay. And I get on the menu or look at the menu and they've got garlic parmesan wings that look amazing. <laughs> they are well photographed. The seasoning, you know, I'd say probably I'm sure they had a disclaimer like uh 
you know, wings are smaller than they appear, you know, enlarged for, what do they say sometimes? Enlarged for uh, enlarged detail. Enlarged show textures. Yeah. Like yeah. It was working. They were massive. <laughs> and I was like, that looks so tasty. Um, but I'm driving and they were, it, I, all I saw was bone in. Mm. And so I start talking to the woman. He's like, what can I get for you? And I was like, um, <laughs> I'm looking at these garlic parm wings. Do you have these boneless? She's like, sorry. And I was like, do you have like the, the chicken wings, do you have the, like a boneless version of them? She's like, uh, like a really long pause. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I, it doesn't, you know, in my head, I'm like, I don't think she knows what I'm saying. So I was like, yeah. Do you like, are you, are you sure? Like if I were to get it, like there wouldn't be like bones in it. And I mean, it gets to the point, right? I bet you I'm just explaining what a boneless you wing is. You want bones? You can go to Joanne if you want <laughs> bones. They got a whole aisle yeah. of bones. <laughs> And she was like, I could talk to my manager. And I was like, okay. It's just like, you're running late and you're like, that's I don't know if I, you know, I'm like bone out. Maybe that's an easier way of describing it. I said, but my boneless is throwing her off. So like I see bone in. No, it's not your fault at but all. But you have bone <laughs> out. And then I just like, I succumb to like really just mansplaining. I'm like, so it's like, it's still a chicken wing. I don't think it actually comes from the wing. I, I think it comes from like the thigh or something, but they, they market it as a chicken wing, but it's just like a, it's a small, like bite size. Just think of a chicken tender. <laughs> it's just a small popcorn. I'll just go Sonic. And I'm just explaining what a chicken wing is. And I'm like, I would love for someone else. No one's going to believe me if I just say like this whole interaction happened. And I, it's like, I'll just do the, I'll just do the tenders, the, the tender meal with the large water. Okay. Do you want that with Buffalo ranch on there? It's like, what? what? that's kind of what I was asking for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you like that pre-seasoned with garlic Parmesan? <laughs> yes. And later, two hours later, that Jack in the Box water was cleaning out my wound. I was like pouring it out oh. on my hand and like cleaning it out. So, dude, there's no way that those wings would have been a good idea. I think that really, I mean, you think it was a blessing. I think that they're definitely like frozen, just heated up. They're not, they're, they can't be that good, especially if this woman didn't have any information about them. It's not like she's like selling a bunch. Oh, of these them. are popular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we can dig some of those out of the freezer real quick. It's going to be about 30 minutes. Dude, you didn't see the photo I did. Look at look, look it up right now. Jack in the box garlic parm wings. They probably like already discontinued it. It's been four <laughs> days. Uh, let's see images from Food Beast. That one looks good. Yeah, I mean they look good. I want them right now. They look nice. You're right. I'm not. I'm not trying to act like the picture. Of course, the picture's gonna <laughs> look good. The picture better look good. The, hey, you're hurting the photographer's feelings. <laughs> You go to those, some of those like Chinese or Mexican spots that are like kind of just family owned smaller spots and it feels like they've never taken a picture before and they just yeah. they just hire somebody who has like an old digital camera to take a picture and put it on their menu. It's like the colors are washed out. They clearly like took it just like with a flash, <laughs> you know, I'm like that's fine. And like a, just like a fluorescently lit <laughs> yeah. like room and for whatever reason, it's like those places taste better than anything. It's a good product. Uh, I have, let me see, somebody just tried to put a review of these wings on there. Yeah, curious what people think of those. Anyone? Are there any reviews about pre basketball game? <laughs> oh, no one commented on this thing. They tried to start a Reddit thing on it. <laughs> no uh, one commented. <laughs> um, there was a video, but I didn't watch the video. Ah. much more expensive than KFC's new wings, which I thought were actually quite good. For next time, okay. I bet KFC would know boneless or not. You know, I feel bad for the KFC, the one right by our house, because Chick Fil A is coming in right next door to it. That can't be good for business. I think they just like renovated too. KFC did. Yeah. Dang. That hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Or or is it a rising tide? Or ri rising tide? What does it say? Rising. Rising, uh, rising tide lifts all boats. Rising coop. Rising. Chicken rising coop. chick. Yeah. I don't know. Rising roost. You need wings. Is it one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's good for all the businesses around it as well. If you're a direct competitor, it probably isn't. <laughs> True. If you're like a, I don't know. Like Raising Cane's, though. Do you think it's going to be? No, probably not. And Popeye's is right down the road, too. Yeah. A brand new Popeye's. Yeah. Poor Popeye's. Poor Popeye's. Popeye's is just trying to just get their own spot. Yeah, can like, you guys just, stop following can us? Can you around? please quit? <laughs> you guys playing tag or something? Come on. Can you follow me around. We did the chicken sandwich thing like for like six months a while back. Remember? We ran out. It was popular. Please. Sorry. Sorry. Hmm. Um... What should we do, Brad? Do you want to play your game or do you want to go over my scam issue? 
We could do either. Mm. We don't have to even do both. We don't have to do mine. Let's do uh, Healing Waters ad read and then the game. Let's talk about that, Brad. Because uh, they were saying they want to support um, Chiapas, Mexico, and this game. Yep. They were saying. Let's do both. Okay. Hey, why not both? Hey, why not both? We are su- supported by Healing Waters International, a wonderful nonprofit organization uh, committed to yeah solving the world's water issues. Um, I'm pull it up real quick. Sorry. We got we got 1.8 billion people as a mm-hmm. reminder uh, that rely on unsafe drinking water. That is so many. I mean, what are there approximately seven billion people in the world? Like a a very very good chunk of the world doesn't have access to drinking water like you and I do. And that's where um, Healing Waters comes into play. And you guys, uh, if you've been listening, you know they are matching the donations of, or sorry, they are not necessarily, but as another ministry uh, is matching every donation that you guys, the ghosties, um, donate to Healing Waters. Yes. We're, so we're, we're our, goal, our goal is $10,000. Yes. And hopefully by this time, we're recording these in, in bulk because Jake's going on vacation, but hopefully by this time we've made a dent in that. Yeah, we've I believe in you guys. Um, just a just a quick uh, example of what's kind of what what our plans are, uh, or what Healing Waters plans are with this money. Uh, they're currently working with the local government in Chiapas, Mexico, to build large scale water infrastructure that will forever alter the water delivery system of these communities by providing consistent access to clean water piped directly to hundreds of household taps. It will alleviate the need for each household to collect and purify water, which revolutionizes the region's health, well being, and economic capacity. Just imagine that. Imagine just not having this access to pure water and then all of a sudden just having tap water at home, how much that would change. Yeah. How much, how much healthier you're going to be, how much, uh, less stressed you're going to be about the access for water. I I mean, it's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around, to be honest. It's Um, also crazy. Just like, I mean, they've even given us stories to look at and read and learn from. And like, there are elderly people they've been able to help, but these people, I mean, they live 75 years without clean water. Right. It's almost amazing. They made it that long. It it truly is. And now they're getting the gift of clean, drinkable, potable water, and they're doing it all over and and want you guys to to help out if you can. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, $30, which would provide uh, safe drinking water for a child for an entire year, or $750, which provides five families, five families with safe drinking water for a year. Or if you want to uh, do the monthly route, which we highly encourage, would really appreciate as well. Um, you are able to just provide safe water with just a small donation. So um, go check them out. Learn more about them at healingwaters.org. Their website, if you want to give right now, is give.healingwaters.org slash ghostrunners. We'll put that in the show notes, but it's give.healingwaters.org slash ghostrunners. We're trying to get $10,000 raised. And I believe in the ghostrunners community. I've seen the amazing things that we've been able to do uh, supporting different children uh, across the world. And now we're trying to do something special with healing waters um, and these, this, this, uh, this wonderful cause. So check them out. Give.healingwaters.org slash ghostrunners. Let's play a game. Let's do it. <clears throat> uh, this game is called, did you know, did you know Tic-Tac-Toe? Yeah, Brad came up with this. It's a bit of a trivia, a bit of Jeopardy, mm-hmm. but with Tic-Tac-Toe involved as well. So Timon's got a few categories that you pulled from. Was it Teen Jeopardy? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> we, we know our, uh, our, our intelligence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that should be great. We should be able to get a handful of these. Got a few categories. So whoever has the board, they get to choose the category. They also get to pre-select the place on the tic-tac-toe board, mm-hmm. which you guys could see right here. Thank you, Timon, for putting it in. Yeah, oh, I love what you did. Oh, wow. White and pink gradient. No way. You're going to use our faces for the X's and the O's. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's really I mean, cool. I'm pretty innovative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you will pre-select where you want your X or your O to go. However, ah! if you get it wrong, the other person if, has a chance to steal and get that spot from you. So... Be careful. I, I sure would. <laughs> All right. Okay, so time we have a few different categories that we can choose from. Uh, yeah, this has five categories. Movies, science, geography, history, and sports. Okay, I think we both like sports. I think s- sports, geography. Dang. Come on. You get to pick one now. Okay, what is the other ones? Movies, science, history. You know, time is not picking history. <laughs> Movies. Okay. All right. I yeah. don't feel great about history, and I have always been terrible at science. Okay, movies, geography, sports. Yeah, those are our three. Okay. Brad, you can you can start us off. Got to go top left corner uh, okay. of the board is where I want my uh, face. 
Yep. Time to point it. No, I was kidding. <laughs> uh, top left corner, and I'm going to start with sports. All right. Uh, any number of sports? Like 100 I think you, you choose that time. Yeah. We don't need another. I don't want to know how hard it is. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. George Washington built this kind of court at his house in Mount Vernon. A, basketball. B, tennis. Oh. C, B-O-C-C-E. Bocce? Bocce. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Oh, interesting. Okay. Basketball, tennis, or bocce? Yeah. George Washington? George Botchington? <laughs> what do they call it? Let him? him botch. Let him botch. <laughs> let him wash. Hey, come on, George. Get the teeth in and let's botch. <laughs> George, put that oar down from the Delaware River. We're trying to botch. <laughs> Not basketball. Tennis? Is that that old? <laughs> Whoa. I f- <laughs> that was me, like, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what, Timon? You know what? I, what? I'm going botchy. See. All right. You'd be correct. Hey! Let him budge. Let him budge. Let him ding, 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 ding. Top left. Brad's in the top left. Okay. Jake, you're up. Oh, we get to swap. Oh, I think well, so. Well, that's sure nice. Uh, you know, like tic-tac-toe would. Well, that's how tic-tac-toe would. Well, that's <laughs> how. <laughs> oh, so you go now. <laughs> that's a good point. Oh, I get a turn. <laughs> how nice. <laughs> All right. I can't go middle just for the sake of like, if you get it. Well, anywhere I go is kind of. No, I need to go middle. <laughs> Let's go middle. I could fully 180 flip flop. Like, I'm going to go middle spot of the board. Yeah. Geography. Okay. Talking middle, middle. Middle, middle. Right. middle, middle. Middle, middle. Middle, middle. What are the world's three largest countries in size? Ooh. Area. No multiple choice on mine? Uh, nope. Area. Sheesh. Have area. To get the three largest. Area. I have to get all three of them. The world's three largest countries by area. Got it. I think I get it. No, well, I don't know. I go think ahead. I'm a, Sorry. Looking at the answers, it's like, I, I, I think I can get this. Okay, but time. That's because I'm looking at the answers. And so, <laughs> Dude, I got to say, if you're, on, are, it? If you're on my end. It's, and this is tough for you. <laughs> you should try looking at the answers. It's way easier. All right. I'm going to lock in Russia. Okay. And I guess don't tell me what yeah, I did or didn't I get wrong because Brad you're is gonna, listening. You're going to get it right. I believe in you. Let me go through all the... Let me go through every single country real quick. <laughs> Timon, do you know the only country that starts with Y? Yemen. Thanks, Timon. Sorry. You're supposed to be thinking. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is the whole... I, d- <laughs> I did not. Yemen! It was Yemen! <laughs> Yemen. Oh, do mean, another one. Do another oh, one. I mean, now, okay. yeah, no, Timon, do you know the only country that starts with a Q? Jake absolutely <laughs> knows. I know you know, Jake. La Quinta. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Qatar. Qatar. Oh, interesting. And I believe there's only one that starts with an O. You know that one, Jakey? Oman. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to think of that. Oh, oh man. man. All right. I don't know. So many seem like nearby. Whatever. I'll just start guessing. Uh, Near- let's go. Nearby? Or, uh, sorry. Nearby, the same like area. Like, I don't know. Gotcha. I don't want to say them all, but um, I will go China next, and then I will go Brazil after that. Okay. Okay. You would be incorrect. No, okay. Yeah, don't. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Here's right. my initial guess. What are your Russia, three? China, Australia. You are also incorrect. Frick! Oh! What happens right. now? The middle's open. The middle's open. Middle's Do I open. tell you? Yes. You want to know, though? Yeah. yeah. Russia, Canada, China. Canada, those silly... <laughs> Australia definitely feels like the right answer. Great guess, dude. Australia's huge. Yeah. Canada's, Canada's bigger than Australia and Brazil? Show me that map. Show me that map. <laughs> Show me that map. <laughs> Let them botch. So what? Uh, Russia, China... Canada. Canada. Yeah. Canada... Man. What'd you say, Russia, China, uh, Australia. Australia? Oh, so each Dude, one, two out of three. I was teaching Hattie about, do you know which country's border, you know, United States, whatever, and just thinking about Canada and how, I know we have Canadian listeners, but it's just like, this is like such an American, like pompous thing to say, but just like, man, I better be a bummer to like share a border with like America. Like you're <laughs> just, you're just not going to be as good no matter how good of a country you are. Just a little brother. <laughs> like, I know it's so silly and arrogant sounding but man it would just be tough you know mexico understands who they are but like <laughs> i don't know canada probably is like but canada's like hey, come we're on, guys. okay we're okay up here we're pretty good <laughs> i'm um, just curious i found the list it goes russia then canada then china then united states alaska's just got to help big time and then brazil is australia just not a country and then australia oh my gosh <laughs> all right we were right there we we're right there all right time in um I'm going to do movies in the 
Bottom left. Bottom left. Bottom movies. left. All right. Your question is. Javert pursues what character in the movie Les Miserables? Frick this. <laughs> Stupid. I said, I said hetero movies. <laughs> um, okay. Javert? I thought his name was like Javert. Hugh Jackman. Um, no, that's, it's not Hugh Jackman. It's, but oh, okay. the character you're trying to think of is Hugh Jackman. <laughs> okay. I, so it is Hugh Jackman. Oh yes, no, I have no uh, Marie. Okay, you are uh, you're incorrect, <laughs> Jake. Jake, I bet you got this. This would be Samantha. <laughs> nope, Jean, uh, Jean, Jean Valjean. What? Jean Valjean. Oh, I was close. That's a, that's a man. Yeah. What was the question? Javert pursues what character in the movie Les Misérables? Pursues sounded romantic to me. I thought it would be Samantha. Jean Valjean. I've heard of him. Yeah. He Jeopardy, no joke. So is that Hugh Jackman is Jean Valjean? Yes. Ah, so who's Javert? Javert's uh, Russell Crowe? Russell Crowe. Oh, Javert, Russell Crowe. All right. I go back to the well. Give me uh, middle, middle, sports. Dang. All right. I kind of felt a little bad, like, going sports Th- twice. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks. But didn't think I was going to get Javert. <laughs> <laughs> what color jersey is worn by the winners of each stage of the Tour de France? Oh, ding, ding, ding. What is yellow? You got it. Middle, middle. Bonus question. What color jersey is the last place? Red. And what do they call them? Red bone. Red boney. <laughs> red, red lantern, red, I believe. Yeah, I think that sounds right. Don't be the red lantern. We did that at camp. Yeah. It was like, hey, you're still loved and appreciated, and you're still a great part of a great community here, but we're going to kind of mark you with the red. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to. All right. God, yeah, take back. I'm going bottom left. No, I'm going top right. Doesn't matter. Top right, please. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to go with... I can't do Joe. I'm going to go sports. Okay. Can I do that? You may. Top right sports? Top right sports. Who was the first player in NBA history to be elected league MVP by a unanimous vote? Oh, wow. Ooh, first first one? First one. I'm going to go... Don't say Jeremy Lin. It's not him. Jeremy Lin. Don't, no, no, don't do it. You, you can get another guess. Sorry. That's the obvious choice, but it, it's shockingly not the answer. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go, who is Jerry or Gerald West? Okay. Rest the in logo. Peace. You are incorrect, Jake. Oh, I haven't been thinking. I was just thinking about Jeremy Lin. Uh, I'm going to say, who is Bill Russell? You are Wait, also can we, incorrect. Can we go back? Can we, you want to go back and forth on this one? Hey, bring man, it on. Try to guess a little bit. Bring it on. Uh, I'm going to say, who is Robert Bob Cousy? You are uh, incorrect again. Who is Wilt Chamberlain? Nope. Good guess. Who is Karim Abdul Jabbar? <laughs> nope. Who, who Who do I got here? Who is Michael Jordan? Nope. Oh, I was going to be so. I was like, <laughs> I should guess Michael Jordan. Next. I was going to be so <laughs> frustrated. Um, who is. Elgin Baylor. Nope. Who? <laughs> How old? Does this have a year on it after that? By curiosity? No. Okay. No. Problem. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know. Go, have you, have you heard of this person? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't uh, do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Go ahead. Who? It's got to be someone new, right? Who is LeBron James? <laughs> nope. No. All right. I think I think we don't get a point. For okay. This okay. Can we run it? Uh, Steph Curry. Yep. Okay. Whoa. Went until what? 2016 at a unanimous MVP. A lot of politics in the NBA. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah, not, it's probably just politics, man. I'm not voting for Wilt. All right. No points or no, no hey, spot. Did you know tic tac toe? Did you know? Uh, all right. I'm going to go bottom left geography. All right. That's the hardest geography, right? Time. <laughs> What structure is currently located on the exact spot that Abraham attempted to sacrifice Isaac? Oh. Whoa. Say what that again. Structure? What's the beginning of it? What, what structure is currently located oh, on I the should, exact spot that I Abraham attempted that. to sacrifice Isaac? I have no idea. I Yeah, I could. I don't know. I don't know the structure. Nor I. Dang. Straight up. That's the, okay, it says. That's not the Egyptian pyramids, right? <laughs> no. It says Mount Moriah, the Temple Mount, Jerusalem, Israel. Ooh, I, show so me the, the structure team. is Mount Moriah. What's the 
or the Temple Mount. Or the Temple Mount. Okay. It sounds like it. So I don't Show me the teenager that gets that. <laughs> yeah. Time would you have known? My foot. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. Gosh, Catherine probably knew. She's going to be upset with me. Not a teen. Doesn't count. I'm going to be sleeping in the basement with my non cozier <laughs> sheets again. <laughs> Not a teen. All right. Uh, back Not to you. Mom. All right. Top. No. Yeah. Top right. Top right. Uh, and I can't do sports because I already did top right sports. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Same question. So top right movies. Jean Valjean. All right. He- hetero movies. <laughs> oh, Brother, Where Art Thou is based on what historic novel? Oh, that's no fun. I've never seen that. I would have no idea. What historic novel? Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> nope. Jake? Correct answer is... The Boys on the Creek. Nope, it is The oh. Odyssey by oh. Homer. By Homer or... I kind of knew that. <laughs> I kind of knew that. I, I Once you said it, I was like, oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> I kind of knew it. I kind of knew it. I kind of knew it. Okay, Joe? <laughs> I, it. I did not know that. All right. Give me bottom left. They sports. Have Jeopardy. <laughs> is it Todd's or Jeopardy? All right. Which two teams will play in the 2017 World Series? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, we'll play future tense. I, I'm not going to get this. Let's go. I, I follow baseball so poorly. I think. Let's go Los Angeles. Mm? I think I know. Let's go. Oh no! I think Cubs I for the National League and Angels for the American League. You are incorrect. I think I got none of them right. See, I think Brad. I'm going to guess this, but I think it actually is 2016. Uh, who are the Cubs and the Indians? Nope. Darn it! Oh. It was Dodgers and Yankees. Oh, you were. I, I, I started with Los Angeles. Dang! I think that was the year before. Ah, oh, the Yankees. All right, top. I kind of knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard of that before. All right, top right geography. Got it. All right. I'm going for that top right. We got to get to this. What's the largest volcano in the world? Uh, all right. I got two in my in my in my noggin. <laughs> largest volcano in the Man, world I is would, I would stink at Teen Jeopardy. Who what how is Mount Vesuvius? Uh you are incorrect. Crap! Jake. I'm going to go with my gut. First thing, Mount St. Helens. No. Um, the M- Mauna Loa on Hawaii oh, is not only the largest, but also the most word. active. It is. It's real active. Mauna Loa. <laughs> Mauna Loa, crap. So how does tic-tac-toe work? You just have to get two anywhere on the board? <laughs> Seems like it, brother. <laughs> you are running out of questions. Bottom <laughs> left, sports. <laughs> we might need new this category. is the last sports question. Good. All right. The Native Americans invented which team sport? A, soccer, B, lacrosse, or C, field hockey? Gotta, gotta be lacrosse. You are correct. Dang it! Bottom left, bottom left, bottom left. How confident were you? 70%. Really? It was that or field hockey. No way they invented soccer. No way. All right, so I need to go middle left movies. All right. Why would you go middle left? Wait, what'd you just get? Wait, wait I take it back. Okay. Where are you? Your middle. Your oh, oh, no, so you can't see right there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> just look so at where you your face is. Oh, you just did bottom left. Yeah, and I'm center. Top right. I keep doing it. I can't get it. G- go for it. I can't quit you. Uh, <laughs> top right movies. That's a all right. That's a movie reference. Never seen that movie. Who is the most popular Doctor Who, and what is this, this actor's name? Frick. Oh, fun game, question. Dude. Fun category, Brad. Fun, fun thing, dude. Awesome. <laughs> Wish I would have chose history. You know what this reminds me of? We didn't talk about this when, when during basketball, Garrett Gibson's, when someone would score, he'd say, that was Brad's guy. That was Brad's guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Brad's guy. Brad's guy. Brad's guy. It happened once. All right. <laughs> it, you really only, it happened once and then he just said it every time. Brad's guy. Brad's guy again. Doctor Who, the most famous one was, um, oh, what's his name? Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay. You're incorrect. Jake? Yeah, I know. You're not going to get this. Mine, uh, he just goes by one name, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, David Tennant. Oh, shoot. This this is a good one. What do we have left? Give me top right, whatever we got left. 
Okay, we got two geography questions and two movie questions. Oh, left. geography, geography, geography for the win. All right. I'm going to steal this and I'm going to get the other one and it's going to be a comeback story for the ages. <laughs> Come on. Which two countries share the longest border in the oh, world? I've, I've heard this before. Nothing is coming to mind, but I've heard this before. Let me think of the, the earth real quick. Earth. Welcome earth. to earth. United States and Canada have like a decent one. Um, Canada's. Africa, don't sleep on Africa. Africa's big though. Africa's on a country, you dolt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Could it be Russia and like Mongolia? That's a lot of space. Could it be China and Mongolia? I think it's one country where another one like almost surrounds it. What would that be? Um, really want to get this. Oh, I see. Because it's not necessarily like one side of it. It could be. Why am I talking out loud? You are gonna get to steal this. I don't know it, dude. <laughs> I already have mine locked in. United States of Canada. You are correct. Woo! Talk is that, it is out. that for the win? That was for the win. Good job. Look, it's right there. Tic tac toe. Oh, ding, look ding, three ding, of your you faces. Did the, you did the sound effect. That's cool too. Dude. Faces. Whoa, you had fireworks coming off of there? Whoa, yeah. you mashed up Lincoln Park and uh, Jay Z for the uh, win. Wow. I guess you won an encore. Oh, let us know what you thought of. Did you know Tic Tac Toe? Did you know Tic Tac Toe? Maybe we'll vet the questions a little better next time. Maybe we <laughs> should bump up the Jeopardy and do real Jeopardy next time. We should do real Jeopardy, but but even more so, like cherry pick the categories. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I I Rachel, would have also I would have gone for movies so many times, just thinking it'd be a safe one. But those were weird movie questions. It made me think that they were from a different country. The Doctor Who thing. Come on, who are we kidding there? Rachel and I randomly watched an episode of Celebrity Jeopardy like two nights ago, and I think it's somewhere between regular and Teen Jeopardy, and they had categories where like the they're pretty easy. Where it's like, hey, this whole category. It's going to be two words that start with the initial CF or something really easy like that. Or like it ends in ology, which really narrows down your answers. Yeah, totally. That's the categories we need. What did you freaking find? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Tommy. Um, yeah, I think Celebrity Jeopardy may, might be, eh, you said Teen Jeopardy? No, Celebrity. I know, but like it's above Teen Jeopardy. Is that what you said? I thought so. Yeah, maybe. Sometimes I'm just like, those guys, that's so easy. Yeah, it made me feel good. It does. I liked it. Yeah, because you don't want to like do a trivia game where nothing make like. Can you imagine spending what I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, seventeen but, minutes on that thing, barely getting questions right? <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. Man, after that, I would want some nice hot refreshment from Main Street Roasters, or cool down, or cool down, ice down. I got a nitro cold brew waiting for me at home with Main Street Roasters name on it. Hey, what's this right here? Single origin, small batch, best blend. Yeah, it's Main Street Roasters. It's the new best blend. <laughs> just, just so funny. Like, hey, Brad, what is this? And you look at that's a Tumblr a, and you start uh, singing a song. <laughs> the lyrics are not on the Tumblr. <laughs> yes, you're not, yours doesn't have the lyrics. Look. Brad, what do you have here? Single origin, <laughs> single origin. Yeah, this is Main Street Roasters. Okay, this is Main Street Roasters. I, oh, I have to sing the song before I, before I just read what's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of fun. Get a little uh, echo going in there. Uh, hey, here's a here's a Jeopardy category for you. Coffee shops in Indiana. Wait, would you like uh, to ask a question from there? Yeah, I'll take the the, the hardest question you have from there. Ooh, thousand uh, coffee shops in northern <laughs> Indiana. Daily Double. How much do you like to wager? <laughs> now that it's a Daily Double, All in. it's going to take a little longer. James Holsauer. All in. All in, he says. All right, $200. He's got one spot on the board. He's all in. <laughs> Answer. This local coffee shop serves up amazing single origin blends, beans, bags, tumblers, merch, whatever you need. And it's only 90% of full price with code GRKC. Anyone want to buzz in? Anything? Anything? <gasps> What is Main Street Roasters? Oh, oh, yes. I didn't even see you buzz. Um, yes. Oh, no. It's Daily Devil. <laughs> Gosh. Gosh, I suck at this. Learn the game, Trebek. Oh. I thought it was Daily Double. You said Daily Double. You said Daily Double. You made so a sound. It's just me. That's correct. You have good. doubled your money. It was originally $1,000, <laughs> but because it was Daily Double, you now only won 200 because no, that's how much you had to wager. You can wager. You can go negative on Daily Doubles. Somebody, I was unaware of Somebody that. needs to watch more Celebrity Jeopardy. I will admit, I was watching it upside down. I didn't I didn't toss that part in earlier, but I was already laying on the couch 
the opposite direction, and then Celebrity Jeopardy came on, and so I was kind of <laughs> watching like this. So yeah, I might have missed a couple things. You were exercising your brain, like reading it upside down. <laughs> yeah, makes it tougher. Anyway, matureroasters.com, uh, promo code is GRKC to get 10% off for all your coffee needs. Yep. Whatever you need. Get your coffee there. See you October 26th. Thanks. <laughs> I genuinely started to tear up a little bit at the... <laughs> <laughs> really? That was great. Thanks, dude. Oh, that's funny. That's kind. That's... Oh, that's nice. Uh, hey, speaking nice. of major roasters, Nathan Coley just made a little graphic and posted it for us. Hey, that's save nice. the dates. Branson, Napanee, Indiana. That's fun. STDs. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the STDs, Nathan. Appreciate you. Um... All right, maybe we end the episode with uh, with this. I want you to, I'm going to read you guys some emails. We can pause whenever you need to pause, or maybe you could just tell me like where your scam rating is at right now. I talked about this a bit on Correct Opinions. Yep. But more things have happened. Okay. I feel like I have a pretty good radar for scams. I just don't know what's going on with this girl. So I'm just going to go through it qu quick ish. Okay. Email comes in from uh, Stella, is her name, to Friday Pickleball uh, email address. Can I? I'm so sorry to stop you right at the beginning, but can I know, you don't have to tell me your exact email address, but what approximately is it? It is, um, it's like a first name, last name, and then three numbers, gmail.com. Okay. It's like normal, pretty normal. Okay. I would say. Um, subject line is video editor to make your videos better, parentheses Stella. Looks a bit like off to me. Hi there, Stella here. I came across your YouTube channel, Friday Pickleball, which is in bold. Feels like this is a copied and pasted message a little bit. And love the content you make. Wasn't sure if you edit your videos by yourself or have the editor for that. But the idea popped in my head and thought to email you about it. I currently work with John Sincola Pickleball. Linked his pickleball page. Looks legit. He's got 40,000 subscribers or something. Mm -hmm. And basically just gives a little pitch. Let me know. And um, let's see. I respond. Jeez, it just went away. And I'm like, hey, well, yeah, we're starting like an instructional series. This is great. We could maybe use some additional help. How much do you charge for a typical 8 to 12 minute pickleball video edit? Hello, she says. Oh, that's a great thing. I'd love to know if you want to make the edits better or are we going to make it with the same style? Like I said, we can level up the edit parts and for the 8 to 12 minutes video, do you have any specific budget in mind? The it's just weird, somewhat Why broken English. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. She emailed that at Sunday at 5 a.m. <laughs> I don't respond because it's Sunday. We're, uh, you know, doing stuff. It's 6 p.m. that night. She says, follow up. Is there a better platform where you guys will be more responsive and we can have a con constant chat? Seems a little pushy. Seems a little scammy right now. Constant chat. Are you 100% on scam at this point? What do you think? The word is, is not the scam. The word is bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Like, from the get-go, Yeah. No, like a scam. I don't think she's scamming you. Okay. Like, I don't think she would like take your money. Like, I think she would probably edit a video for you, but it's like, I don't, I, I don't know why you keep responding to her. It looks like she already works in pickleball space. <laughs> Maybe. Easy transition. <laughs> I said, well, it's Sunday. We're not normally responding to emails right away. Uh, would you mind sharing Johnson Cola's contact info as a reference for your work? And do you normally charge an hourly rate or per video? She said, I can't share his contact contact info without asking him. But I'm contact with his manager, and here are some proofs. I'm contact? I'm contact with his manager. And then sends a lot of, like, pictures that look like she took from her phone or maybe, like, screenshots of, like, what looks like editing and, like, a group chat and, like, people going back and forth. We see the words The Moon Club. Looks like a Slack channel, maybe called The Moon Club. If you look in the description of John Sincola's YouTube video, he gives credit. Like, it's shout out to The Moon Club for editing and management. Mm, okay. So this looks like... Legitimate. Is she signing her thing, the Moon Club? No. Okay. <clears throat> I said, appreciate it. Where are you located? Thinking her English is a little weird and she's emailing me at weird times of the day. Maybe it's Monday there. She said, I'm in Pennsylvania and I charge per video. If you let me know about some details about the content and vision for your channel, that would be great. Mm. So I explained the whole, like, here's what we're trying to do. Yada, yada. How's that sound? She says, I mean, that's realistic if we proceed this week. Because you guys will ask for the changes, possibly. But I will try to get it approved in one go still for the safe side. If you guys ask for the changes, I will have to make it before July 16th. Tough sentence. Also, did she explain July 16th? Did I had said that might be our first day to post ah, these videos. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Still, still on the page of just like, 
I don't think I would hire this girl because it sounds like she would be hard to like communicate go with. back and forth with. So I said, uh, look, the videos that looks like you're editing seem great. How much do you charge for a video like that? She said, um, usually $150 per video, but if you want to commit to four videos at once, I do them all for $500 with unlimited revisions. I was like, wow, that is pretty good rate. Okay. A little too good, right? I was four long form YouTube videos for $500. Yeah. I said, that sounds fair. What's this guy's name? John what? Sincola with a C. C-I-N-C-O-L-A. Okay. I said, um, would you be around for a chat tomorrow? Would like to hop on a quick, a quick call. Um, I could do Monday at 11 a.m. if you're available. No worries if not. She said, yeah, that works for me. I didn't tell you this, but I have a speech disorder. I'll be very happy if you keep this on text. But if that's too important, I can have my associate in loop. I'm also up to listen to you and type my thoughts over messages. I was like, what? Of course, the girl has already been weird to talk to has a speech disorder now and we can't have a phone call. Yeah, I think I think she's definitely foreign. Not in Pennsylvania. If she's t if she's emailing you at five, she doesn't speak very good English, and so she's. I I my my impression right now. Yeah, is that she's legit. She's she would. I mean, we get we get emails like this a lot with jean shorts and stuff, where people are like, "Yeah, we can edit these reels for you if you want." So I think they're legit things, but I don't think she's from Pennsylvania. I Ooh, think that's the okay. only like lie that she's telling like right now. Gotcha. I don't okay. think her name's really Stella. Okay. I think she's got you know, an algorithm that figured out, I, I don't know. Then again, maybe she does this Johnson Cola guy. Cause that seems like a lot of things to alter for a screenshot. Yes. Those screenshots were enticing to me. They look pretty legit. If, if you said that they really did, you know, if you reverse image search the screenshots or anything No. Okay. Go ahead. Keep going. I said, sorry to hear that. Are you unable to speak at all? It doesn't have to be a long conversation. I just prefer to see and speak to people before beginning to do business with them. Okay. She said, I do, which I don't know what that's in reference to. <laughs> I do, but this has been a trauma from the start. And the reason for me not being confident in myself. Like, ah, oh, what did I, she's going for the what did I get myself into? Do you think if I have you in contact with John's manager, you'll be more likely to feel comfortable? I mean, I have no issues with any of my other clients to have the conversation with you on the experience they had with me. <laughs> and then she follows up again about social media help. She follows up again. For any reason, if you're still uncomfortable about it, do you think we could start with one and see how it goes? You can decide after that. I just need to figure out my schedule. I said, I would feel more comfortable if we were able to talk to John's manager or if you could have a coworker on the call vouch for you. Hmm. I said, do you work at the Moon Club? She said, thank you. Should I ask him to email you about that info? <laughs> I said, yeah, email's great. And then we did get an email from someone named Gabriel. At the Moon Club? At the Moon Club. What's their email address? That's... Go back and find it real quick. Um, yeah. The one moon club at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Yeah. They don't have their own URL. See ya. See ya. It looks like a very, it looks kind of like AI. ChatGPT wrote it. It also referenced Stella having disabilities. Um, where's the email? Like, the service she is offering is video editing, and therefore that should be the metric to which she is measured by regardless of outside disabilities. Stella has risen far above and overcome obstacles to provide an excellent product and smooth process. So I'm like, uh, does she have <laughs> disability? I thought it was like a speech like impediment or like, what's going on? Is this the most elaborate scam of all time? Like what's happening? And, <laughs> and so... My, then, my thought is just like, like whatever. It, it, whether or not she has... A hard time speaking or not. She has a hard time writing as well. <laughs> I'm just and she's not. She's, <laughs> yeah. At this point, are you just doing it like to figure out what's going on? Because there's no way you should hire this girl, right? Really? I, I'm curious. Like she's already making pickleball videos, apparently. And she's doing it for cheap. You should say, okay, can you make me a 30 second teaser of my video mm. or something like that? Like show me what you would do with this. That would be so impressive or something. If you really think that she's viable. So I don't know. 18 hours ago. I said, hey, Stella, we'd like to move forward with the first video and see how it goes. Oh, really? Stells. I said, we can get you the footage tomorrow, post the content mid-July. Here's what we'll pay you. Let me know what you think. And here's, here's where it gets fun. Okay, that works for me. 
Let, or I guess not quite yet. Let me know if we can proceed with it and what you prefer as payment method. I said, we'll do ACH transfer. I'll send you a separate email. You can follow the info and we'll make payment once the edit is complete. Mm -hmm. She said, I accept payments through PayPal or Stripe. Mm -hmm. Also, it will be half up front. Mm -hmm. And I was like, here it comes. This is, she's been doing all this for this. And I said, I'm sorry, but we aren't willing to pay someone any amount of money up front if we don't know them and they're dodging a phone call with us. <laughs> I said, we currently employ multiple people. All of those people get paid once the work is done. It's how we do business, and it keeps our contractors motivated to finish the job. She said, after knowing about my speech disorder, giving enough proofs, you're still thinking I'm dodging a call? <laughs> I'm doing the first video without any initial deposit. But after that, if you guys like my work, I'll charge half up front and half when it's done. Okay. And then she said, let me know whenever you send the raw footage. And wow. that's where I left it. So I haven't s had time and send her anything yet. Dang. I just... I don't know. I'm okay. so curious. Like, hey, at least she's gonna like give it a try without making you pay something. Because that's I know. like the half up front. That's that's suspicious. That's like, yeah. okay, you pay her the half, and then she deletes everything, and you can't contact her. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, just curious. What's like, the worst that can happen if you just send a video right now. Like, yeah, that's exactly. what I'm saying. Like, the getting your first. One, yeah, we're out 150 dollars. Worst case scenario. No, but even then, like, you wouldn't be out 150 dollars until she like gives you a product, right? That's right. I'm saying, like, even if her video is like terrible, like oh. she goes and edits a video, it's really bad. I'm like, all right, let's still pay her. I guess. Well, unlimited and, edits. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Part of me is curious. Like this woman who might not be from America, like how is she going to handle like making decisions on what joke to keep in? Yeah, you know. So we'll see. Yeah, maybe but also, just... what if she's amazing? This amazing editor that's so cheap and she just can't say her R's. That's best case scenario. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. Like, That'd be awesome. So I just. Yeah, maybe she's from whatever. I there's I I there's no way. Like, does she have a last name? Have you searched her on Google? Like we found so we found uh she has an Instagram, she has a Twitter, they're both like active, they both like seem real. Um they're like faceless accounts though, where she just shows off her edits. You know, like here's a work I did for this client, here's yeah, what I did for this she's client. She's foreign. She's foreign for sure. And I'll be like, Stella, just just be honest with me. Where are you from? Like, yeah, where are you from? What I don't you care. I don't care where you're from as long as you just. Which word is the hardest one for you to say? <laughs> Can we just see it in action a little bit? Yeah. Just send us a voice memo. How bad is it? <laughs> Have Gabriel. I don't. I don't phone. even. I don't care about the. I don't care about the speech impediment. Like, I just. I would like you to be honest with me about if you are from Pennsylvania or not. <laughs> like, I don't believe you. You know, that's. I'm very intrigued to see what happens next. With it Stella. is intriguing. Yeah. So we'll see. So who knows? Stella, thought, Stella might be editing these videos. Time might be editing these videos. Brad, if you want to take a crack at it, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, my thought is maybe that was her last ditch effort to like feel like make you feel a little bad about uh, the first one. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm misinterpreting this whole thing. But she she wants you to make you feel bad about the first one. Like, okay, fine. I'll give you up half up front here too. Psych, uh, you know, whatever. Like, I think that she's, you're going to send her that first thing and she's going to have issues with it and then nothing's going to materialize. That's my prediction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Should be fun. Interesting. <laughs> really got myself into the little fun little <laughs> pickle here. We've exchanged 30 emails back and forth. Yeah. It'll be funny to see if it's just like clearly just like one of those, you know, there's like those websites where you just enter in your, you know, video and uh it'll cl crank out like a clip for you kind yeah of like ai edits it for you and yeah she did say she's like let me know when you send over the raw footage and the script i was like well script you're gonna have to you have to lower your standards for what a script looks like i mean <laughs> it's just the script is the the video you watch that's the script i don't know <laughs> the script the script is what the footage is yeah like i said i mean i don't hate the idea of like hiring out foreign People, you know, online, I've seen a lot of people do that. But for what we're doing, I think there's too much nuance with like sarcasm and discretion of like, this is redundant. I, I don't know. Right. I want like, someone who like knows pickleball and knows entertainment. Sounds like she's, you know, John Cisna's, Cisneros guy. Yeah. Cessna airplane. <laughs> Cessna. <laughs> yeah. But she's doing it for someone else. That's what keeps me coming back. And he's crushing it. Also, yeah, this is interesting. Like I'm on, I'm on Moon Club, the one Moon Club. Uh, Not a great website. Not a great website, and that that's that's killer too. Their their graphic design feature, one of the pictures on it is just pixelated. I don't know, just red flags. You look at John Cola's videos though, and they have like a very good amount of like effects and graphics, and like it's a video I would I would like ours to look like that. Really, so that's what keeps me coming back too. It's like this would take someone 
five to six hours to do probably, and she's going to do it for $125? Maybe, dude. I mean, that'd be it. Clutch. One Stella give, could be my girl. I give you credit for is like you lean into things and you're like, yeah, let's see if this works. And yeah. a lot of times they work out for you. So <laughs> we'll see. Let's do a food truck. <laughs> any any <laughs> updates? Not really. Okay. It's just, yeah, thank you for people who've reached out. It's just, just kind of stagnant right now, waiting on stuff that's out of my control. Yeah. Permits and city stuff and landlord stuff. Having fun though. Vibes are up. We're good. Thank what? you for indulging me in that. Thank you for your thoughts. Yeah, of course. What are you... Uh, what are you predicting for this cruise that you're going on? I think it's going to be so fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to really have a good time. That was one of my first thoughts after I got like the cut. I was like, oh, am I have to get my stitches out from like a cruise doctor or something? Or am I not going to be able to get in the water? And I think these are supposed to dissolve in yeah. time. So I should be fine. Because they have, if I talked about it, they have one of those like fake waves. They call it the flow rider. Oh, you love that. That's all I want to do. I did it once in 2017 and I thought about it ever since. So I want to <laughs> do that morning, lunch, afternoon evening i'm gonna do that so much until i get injured <laughs> and then this cruise so this real you should start like a pedo club on the boat <laughs> you should send one up trick shot oh pedo trick shots pedo that trick could be shots. fun <laughs> <laughs> um real caribbean like it's this is a massive ship there's seven thousand people and like they're doing stuff constantly there's trivia going on all the time they're, they're having pickleball competitions they're having free throw family free throw competitions Ooh. elvis trivia they're doing you know cornhole competition like my dad and I are going to play in like a ping pong, doubles ping pong competition. Like it just sounds like yeah. I'm really, really excited. Not only for like the activities they're planning, but like just the, the crew we have assembled. Yeah. I'm excited for Rachel to meet Paul Shira and yeah. get more time with my uncle and just the, the funny people that are going to be coming. It's a it's a wild, fun crew. Like just a yeah. random assortment. Uncle John at the martini bar, <laughs> finning off the fellas. That's right. So yeah, predictions are hopefully, I think we all have a really good time and we dodge the hurricane and... Just uh, it's hopefully lives up to expectations my dad has for it, which are yeah. pretty high. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he'll have a blast just being with all y'all. Yeah, so it'll be good. Where are you going to be up to when I'm gone? What can people expect? There's going to be one episode without me. Yeah, my hope, and I, you know, it's one of those things where it's like I've seen some people recently, like you know, say stuff on podcasts and then be like, I probably shouldn't have said that because then it didn't end up happening, you know, or <laughs> something. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, my hope is that I would do an episode with Catherine and then also maybe. Uh, do a little Skype interview or something with TJ, my friend. So a little, little hybrid, um, cool. little brid. Um, but something's coming Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Something's coming Wednesday. I think, uh, yeah, if kids, you know, cooperate and sleep, then we can come over here and record something. And if Timon can f find his way over here, maybe we can figure <laughs> out a, you know, Skype, Skype and TJ. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be good. I'm, I'm, uh, I told myself, I was like, when Jake's gone, like, I can go over to his house and I'm going to record some jean shorts videos. So oh, really, yeah, I don't know what that's going to be, but I'm like forcing myself. Cause like we're both just so not enticed by jean shorts right now. I think it's just not on the top of our priority list, but it's like, Hey, we should at least keep doing something for this. Like keep it afloat, <laughs> do like keep some kind of consistency there. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to just force like just discipline myself to like maybe do that. Um, not maybe do that. Um, then yeah, I've thought about a few other things while you're gone to, to potentially like, I've thought about like toying with the idea of like a kid's podcast or something. I don't know, maybe just more extensive thoughts while you're gone. Cool. Yeah. So brainstorming. Yeah. Anyway, this Fun guy deal. does have a uh, good, good editing, I'll, right? I'll say it. it's enticing. It's like, yeah. I would love videos that look like that. A lot of graphics. He didn't respond to you. Yeah. So I DM'd him separately and was just like, Hey, John. My name is Jake with Friday Pickleball. Look, we got a girl named Stella saying she edits for you. Like, is this real? Is this a scam? He's not DM'd back. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I've also DM'd like multiple other pickleball people making uh, videos and like asking them like who edits for them. And no one will respond to me. It's kind of a bummer. It's very, seems like it's very competitive. That's such like an interesting, like, um, oh, counter, counterintuitive. But I think it's one of those things where, it's best for everybody if you just share how you're doing things. Like, mm -hmm. like as, as crazy as it would sound for like us to get together with Jaron and Tim and be like, here's our best thing that we do. Here's our whatever. strategy. Here's, yeah. But it's one of those things where I think there's so, like there's plenty of entertainment value to go around or there's plenty of whatever to go around. So it's like people, I, I understand like initially like, 
I remember people being like, where do you get your lumber from? And I'm like, I don't want to tell this guy. Right. Yeah. That, that would, you know, whatever. It's like, no, there's plenty of people in Kansas city who need a table. I don't, yeah. I'm not going to like monopolize the industry here or anything. So with social media content, I always say like more often than not, you're not competing with another creator. You're competing for people's attention. Yeah. You're competing, competing for their the like algorithm free time. And, yeah. hundred so, percent. Yeah. Be helpful. Yeah. Uh, reviews of the week. You got one? I got one. The username is thankful. It says, Timmy own conspiracy theory. Timmy own. <laughs> he secretly stinks at his job, but the ghosties love him too much, so y'all got to keep him, leaving Jake to do the editing anyway. That's what's up. Actually, <laughs> it's uh, Stella. Stella does our editing. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a lot of graphics this episode. Tic tac toe. Yeah. <laughs> you tell me if Timmy own did, did a good job or not. <laughs> Uh, the random guy listening, five star review. We're a little bit short on uh, five star or uh, new reviews, um, but let his, him watch. His uh, his review is good, five stars, and then it says, "Yes, it's good." <laughs> <laughs> this random guy listening, thank you, thank you, thank you for confirming it is good. It is very good. He listened to it and he said, "This is good." Uh, do you guys have would you like to end this episode with the jingle you guys do you want to do the harmony thing or do you want to just do you just do it straight up straight up just how you practice before? just how we mm -hmm. practice okay probably I could yeah let's do that give me a give me a, give me a note <laughs> okay <clears throat> it's the uh, ghost, ghost runners, runners. <laughs> Come on, guy! Don't be nervous. I hey, know you've rehearsed okay, this. Okay, okay. Just how we practice. Okay, we'll start. It, you got it. It's, it's the, the Ghost Runners, Runners podcast. <laughs> Every Monday morning. <laughs> Time for just being With drunk along. <laughs> I know. I feel bad. I don't even know how to lead them. <laughs> All right, let's just do it. Let's just do a nice Ooh. melodic version of the theme song. Okay. Uh, can okay. you do it? Can I make a request? We talked about Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Can you do like Ooh. an acapella version of one of those songs? They have no, some good music in give there. Me, give me, give me, man of, give me. Oh, you don't, don't know? know that. You connect to Timon? Never mind, Timon. I don't know. Timon, follow along, find the instrumental, you'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you could follow along. You follow along, figure it out. <laughs> if you trust me. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. What song? Uh, man of Constant Sorrow. Yeah, that's a that's I don't know good. if that's what it's called, but that's how it starts. I am a man of constant sorrow. Sounded good. Sound just like George Clooney. Jake, that's not really George Clooney. Singing. Oh, that guy died recently. That singer, really? Same guy that does does uh, "Wake Me Up" by the Beach song. Good job, yeah. George. That was fun. And time when you did, you figured it out. I yeah. knew you would. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're right there. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I'll, I'll miss you guys Wednesday. Um, not talking to you. I'm talking to the ghosties. We'll oh, be. We'll, I, I know. I didn't respond to you at all because I'm. We're not gonna miss you. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna be. Fa we're Facetime at what time every day? Uh, 10 p.m. ship time. 10 p.m. ship time. Yep. It's a, so it's like a so two-day ship out. time, 10 p.m. ship time. Yeah, two busy days ship. 10 p.m. international waters time. Maritime. Maritime. Uh, but yeah. Another episode, just uh, without me, coming Wednesday, something fun, mm. special, different. Yeah. And then I'll be back next Monday. Um, so thanks again for listening. Thanks always. This is our podcast. Yeah. Support us on Patreon if you don't uh, mind. Or any of the other ways. Healing Waters, Cozy Earth, Good Ranchers, Main Street Roasters, Ghostrunners.life slash shop. <laughs> Do all 20 of those things if you really want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you Wednesday. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody.